My talk today is about the advances artificial intelligence has made in the realms of recruiting. It's probably best to start with what I mean by artificial intelligence. Artificial means something that does not occur naturally. It's simulated. And by intelligence, I mean the ability to understand, to think and to learn. It's these characteristics that make machines appear smart. Machines achieve this through their ability to analyse large amounts of data and to recognise patterns within this data. In recent years, the biggest step forward has been machine learning. In the past, machines have appeared to be intelligent by using formulae or algorithms to make deductions. For example, if you were to win in a game of chess against a non-learning computer and then play exactly the same moves again, you will always win. Now contrast this with AlphaGo, which is a learning machine that plays the board game Go. It improves its game through the knowledge it learns from previous games until it becomes unbeatable. Machine learning can be grouped under three headings. Supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. So let's look at each of these in turn. Supervised learning is where the program is trained on a predefined set of training examples, which then facilitates its ability to reach an accurate conclusion when given new data. It's called supervised as it's akin to a teacher with an answer book, correcting the workings of the student. The algorithm iteratively makes predictions on the training data and is then corrected by the teacher. Learning stops when the algorithm achieves an acceptable level of performance. An example might be to ask a computer to sift through a series of photographs of animals with the instruction to find the cat. Unsupervised learning is where the program is given a bunch of data and must find the patterns and relationships itself. This data is then grouped into categories that share similar characteristics. An example would be Google's news service that receives news streams on stories which are then grouped under top stories, world stories, business stories and sports stories. Reinforcement learning is where the computer interacts with the real world with the remit to achieve rewards. For example, when training a dog to come to the whistle, you reward its arrival with a treat. The dog associates its behaviour with the reward. Reinforcement learning is used to train computers to perform tasks, such as in robotics, search engines, Netflix, and our earlier example, AlphaGo. So now, we've done the introductions, let's look at the topic in hand and see how artificial intelligence can be deployed in recruitment. The recruitment industry has a growing number of products that are available to augment the hiring process. And I've listed these under the following headings. Advertising for candidates. Identifying potential candidates. Engaging with candidates. And then selecting candidates. Under the Advertise heading, we have Textio. Textio reviews and scores your job advertisement copy. It looks at how positive the language is and the use of corporate cliches and gender balance. It then makes suggestions on how you might improve your score with a number of amendments. Recruits.io is a job ad publishing tool that uses AI to determine the best online channels on which to programmatically buy advertising space and also chooses the best time to publish your ad based on the evidence it has collected when your target audience is active online. Vonk is an intelligent campaign manager. It's similar to Broadbean and Idibu in that it distributes jobs but has a very significant difference. Using machine learning, it assesses the responses from its previous postings, benchmarks all the job boards and then posts your job vacancy to the destination that it has decided would provide you with the best response. It continues to learn from its many job postings and is quick to spot market trends. Identifying potential 
is where we intelligently collect data to find prospective candidates. Monster's talent bin spiders the web collecting information from social media sites and industry community sites to create profiles of potential candidates, either passive or active, together with their contact details. Similarly, LinkedIn's Connectifier is used to create passive candidate profiles by collating, sorting and prioritizing LinkedIn's subscriber data. Under candidate engagement, we have Beamery. This is a tool that builds a profile of the candidate by connecting with the organization's email accounts, its calendaring system and its applicant tracking system. It then looks for patterns in the data it has collected and this will include when the candidate is most engaged and when is the best time to approach them. It will then send out personalised emails to potential candidates to trigger further engagement and convert them from being passive to active candidates. Maya is one of my favourites. She really does have a personality. Maya asks contextual questions based on job requirements. She then provides personalised updates and feedback together with next step suggestions. When she doesn't know the answer to a question, she will query the human recruiter and learn for next time. Maya can also manage the dialogue with the candidate to help them through the post-offer acceptance process. Where a candidate has not been successful for one opportunity, Maya will re-engage with them to determine their level of interest in new vacancies. It will also update the candidate's record with any new CV details such as new job role, skills and experience. Wade and Wendy are an AI double act. Wade is your personal super recruiter and career advocate. He privately communicates with you via chat to talk about your career and learns about your skills and experiences. He discusses your interests and goals and processes these conversations to provide you with personalised feedback that will enable you to discover new career opportunities. He is powered by conversational artificial intelligence, informed by network insights, and he's trained with human empathy. Wendy is Wade's sister. She is an artificially intelligent recruiting assistant. She looks at candidate profiles and cross-references these with job vacancies in order to recommend the best possible candidates. Wendy is trained as a team member, assisting in many of the roles and responsibilities of a hiring manager. Monster's Sixth Sense uses its semantic search engine to intelligently read CVs. It then scores them against job vacancy descriptions. The results are then shown in order of best match. Side-by-side -side displays make comparisons between candidates much easier. Similarly, Pomato is an assessment and testing tool for recruiters to hire technical candidates. Pomato uses AI and machine learning to evaluate and validate IT candidate CVs. It will also paint a visual picture showing the candidate's skills and experience, which can be used for comparative purposes. Mosaic Track also uses AI to match current and past applicants to your new job openings for a skill and culture match by simulating how a hiring team reads a CV. It also has an AI career agent that reviews candidates' interests and engages with them to find a suitable position within your organisation. HireView marries deep machine learning with industrial organisational psychology. The product works by capturing the thousands of attributes from a candidate's video interview. HireView will then transcribe the audio and capture the variances in someone's voice and analyse the visual nuances in the answers that candidate provides and then score them accordingly. Jobberate is a different sort of product, but it's included here because it demonstrates the power and the capability of leveraging social media big data and machine learning. It uses social media to assess the intensity of employee job-seeking activity. 
Companies sign up to the service and track the job-seeking activities of their staff. In this way, HR can determine whether people or teams are at risk of leaving. The business case for this service is that it improves employee retention. Some call Jobberate the Equifax of HR. It is possible to build your own AI tools, and there's some really good open source software toolkits available. Amazon, Facebook and Google have all gifted their AI products to the open source community. Destiny is Amazon software for building recommendation models. It looks through data, identifies patterns and then makes recommendations along the lines of the wisdom of crowds. In Facebook's bag of tricks is fast text, which is incredibly good at understanding huge blocks of text. It's used by Facebook to identify unwanted clickbait and unsuitable for work postings. This tool might be used to screen job postings on job boards so that job seekers would only see those job advertisements that were genuine and relevant to them. Starting life as disbelief is Google's TensorFlow, which has a number of applications. Google uses TensorFlow to categorize and caption images recognize spoken words and translate from one language to another and to improve internet search results. It could be used to provide a Siri type service to job seekers. So now, let's look at a business problem and see how these tools might make a practical contribution to the solution. Job Centre Plus is the UK Government Employment Agency. Like many government agencies, it's facing budget cuts which leads to reduction in staff and premises. Could AI be used to improve the service at a time when resources are being reduced? Let's have a look. Career help and guidance. Many candidates require help with their career choices. Getting adequate time with a counsellor can be difficult. This is where Wade from Wade and Wendy could provide help. Wade can provide individual career counselling and guidance on a 24 by 7 basis. Job seeker support. Maya could relieve the work coach of many of their day-to-day -day tasks. Maya would be the work coach's apprentice. She would maintain a dialogue with the job seeker and answer any questions the job seeker has. Where Maya doesn't know the answer to a question, she will seek guidance from the work coach. Sixth Sense can assess the relevance of a job seeker's CV to a job vacancy. It could also provide feedback on where improvements might be made. TensorFlow voice recognition could be used to assist those job seekers with writing difficulties to complete documents or to engage with online chat services. Recommendations. Destiny can help job seekers by looking through other job seekers' applications and then make recommendations such as other people with your skills applied for these types of jobs. Additionally, it might provide guidance to work coaches by reviewing the recommendations other work coaches have made. Feedback here might be other work coaches with this profile of candidate made these recommendations. Relevant job offers. Fast text could be used to deliver a deduplicated stream of genuine and relevant jobs to job seekers. I think there's real potential for AI to make a significant contribution to helping the job seeker. New products are emerging on a daily basis. I hope this whistle-stop tour of how artificial intelligence is contributing to recruitment has been beneficial to you. Thank you for your time.